I'll probably pop in in a little bit because I'm waiting for food and I'm gonna play some Sims, but I'll probably hop in more later. Yeah. I'm mostly waiting for dinner. take a second to hop on because like I want to organize a bit and make sure I get room of food and eat. Disappeared. What just happened? Where my where my pong could go? My PNG tuber. Where did she? Why is she invisible? Oh, I know why. I'm not on a call. Hang on, guys. It's great. I already scuffed it. Don't worry. Boom. I'm back. So uh, I don't know why my mouth is. All right. <gasps> there it is. I'm back. I leave. What a great start. It's beautiful. Don't worry about it. Anyway. It is time. I have this sketch here, as you guys can see. I started this a couple days ago because of last week's stream with Spyro the Dragon. I got a little obsessed. Don't worry about it. So now I have made Nakara as a little dragon. 
with uh, Nevi as her as her as her sparks. So we're going to start it on that. I want to finish this today. Hopefully, if all goes well, we shall have a nice, beautiful new image uh, to put up with my strands. Trying to make some like cover art for my YouTube videos and maybe even to put on Twitch. You may also be noticing I am a PNG tuber. How come this is, you may ask? That's because my sister is playing on my Steam. And I was being nice. She's sitting behind me, guys. <laughs> Your voice is gonna be picked up, but they know you're here now. Perf. But let me get that, and let me get some music queued up. So we have something in the background. Why did I do that? I have YouTube already open. I am but a fool. Give me a me and not. <gasps> Wait. No, I don't want that one. I want, I want lo-fi. I want chill beats. It's chill day. It's chill stream day. Oh yeah. Alright, let me turn it down a little bit. That's good. That's good. Right there. That's perfect. I have to do a little modification of the sketch, because I don't like where her arm is right now. But, that's, that's something we'll fix later. Also gonna adjust the screen for this a little bit of glare, and I don't like it. Perfect! Alright, let's get to it. Two lords. How about 15? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. <gasps> oh my god, is that dare? In my stream? Have you come to a boost me once more? Oh wait, I don't like how that looks. Do yoink. Good. Ow. Yeah. Oh wait, I need to get Nevi working. I just totally forgot. I almost forgot. If I don't pull up Biku Bot, and I didn't open that either. Ah. Dang. I'm off my game today, guys. It'd be like that sometimes, you know? G give me Nevi. Hold on. I'll, get, I'll tell you when Nevi's ready. It only... Okay, Nevi. <gasps> Twitch chat disconnected. Okay, wait, no. It's working. Nevi's working now. I lied. He's here. He is, he is fully functional. wizard. I have turned invisible on you all. It's probably because I accidentally clicked uh, go back. This is my top tier content, everybody. Top tier content. Can't get this nowhere else. But now we're back. Things should be working. Nevi should be able to insult me. It's all good. And then we draw a tooth. And then we draw another tooth. This tooth. Who did that tooth? Good, excellent. trying to get her to look as much as like Spyro-esque as possible so I hope this feels like something, like a design that would belong in the actual uh, Spyro the Dragon reignited game I feel like the design came out pretty good it's both like enough that you can see like you know some of her features but not so much that it detracts from her being a dragon especially not one in the Spyro world
and then right here, and then we go around and we go up. Not bad. It's a pretty good line. Kind of need to fix it though. And then we'll do the eyelashes because con because <gasps> La Gasp, she is a lady dragon. Which is funny because they don't exist in the original Spyro trilogy. And they don't ever explain that away. They never explain to you how or why, like, dragons exist when there's no lady dragons. And then, whoop. Oh my god, Rain! You scared me! I swear you live to you live to frighten me sometimes. Hold on, I want to do this one freehand. They're they're all gay and trans. You know, I've been wondering like, like, ha do you guys know about like clownfish, right? Because because I'm gonna lay I'm gonna lay some knowledge on you in case you don't know about clownfish. Because uh, that's a sussy dragon. What do you mean sussy? I didn't do nothing. I'm just over here being a dragon, running around, beating up norks. It it be how it is. Yeah, my my hypothesis, my hypothesis is that instead of needing lady dragons, they're just like they're just all like clownfish. Where like when the time comes, some of them just develop the female parts to be to make dragon. No, I will not take criticism on this theory until you can prove me otherwise. Until I am shown contrary evidence, I am I am sticking to my my thought that this is this is the accurate way. The dragons just trans their gender when they need to. This one. And then we get this ear. So yeah, gay and trans. Yep. Dare is exactly correct. Nice. Okay, we'll do the little the little eyebrows. Cause like Spyro's eyebrows are very blocky, so I'm keeping in that aesthetic with her. Actually, actually, I'll probably start from the fingers now that I think about it. So we'll get this. Get these fingies. Just easier to do it this way instead of trying to, like, make a line around them. Why did I make that free? Why did I make that free? <laughs> Rain is going to a boost the heck out of it. As if he doesn't already. Okay, and one more. Good, good, good. And then we'll up, and then up, and then a little bit right there. Nice. Behold, I craft leg. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it all in one one smooth take. Nice. And then around here, up here. Cool. Get her leg fuzzies. I took a lot of inspiration from Todor specifically. As, um, for his design, because Todor, I, when I was, like, looking up references in this game and being like, hmm, are there any dragons that are actually fuzzy in, like, the Spyro trilogy? There is. There's a couple, actually. There's a couple I looked up, um, 
I specifically looked up Todor for like the, the fuzz aspect because Todor is like the only dragon that has anything to me resembling like cheek fluffs. Rain, why? No, not again. So yeah, so I used I used um Todor's design to add her cheek floofies. And as for her ears, I was looking up how they did ear placement for the dragons because um I knew like you know, some dragons have ears, right? And I was like, if I'm making Nakara a dragon, I don't want to lose the ears. Like I wanna be able to see if like I can work in ears to a spyro looking design, right? And it turns out, um, I believe it's Latif is how you is the dragon. Latif from the Dream Weavers, I wanna say is actually a dragon with ears. Not like Nakara's, mind you, but like, he still has ears, so I was like, hey, I'll take a win. And that's where I got uh, the idea for Nakara's ears from. And then we go up. And then swoop, whoop. My, my totally accurate sound effects that definitely make everything better. And then we'll go here. I'll connect it like that so you can tell that's the palm. I think that looks right. I think that looks Gucci. Now this is the thing I gotta do. I wanna connect the sh- Whoa! I didn't do that. You didn't see that. That didn't happen connect the shoulder blade up here a little more. Yeah. Because I can do that with the wing, so it's fine. It's cool. And now we'll connect the torso. Like so. I'm actually going to do hit her leg like this. but that works. And then here. Hold on. I don't like I don't like how I did that. Let's try it again. The wings are gonna be the hardest part. I don't know if I'm gonna put quite as much detail into them as like the Spyro dragons have because like if you ever paid attention to the reignited ones, they have like really realistic feathers. Well Realistic in like a cartoony art style, like the feather placement is pretty real. So I'm like, hmm, I could do that, or I could just be lazy instead. And don't you dare tell me like artists aren't lazy. Mm -mm, we're lazy. We find ways to like shorten everything. Like if you ever see like hyper realistic looking backgrounds or like for concept art for games I'm going to guarantee you and I learned I learned this in, in gamer school by the way so you know this is legit I guarantee you over like a good 70% of it is probably just photo bashing and if you don't know what photo bashing is photo bashing is where you take a bunch of photos usually copyright free unless like you you have a bunch of money to either buy copyrighted photos or your studio does and then you, you know, erase parts of them, like, combine them together, repeat them, whatever, until you have whatever design you're going for. And this is, like, completely professional. Like, this is, this is industry standard stuff. It's not like, you know, some Joe Schmo off the street is like, Hey guys, I'm gonna take a bunch of these cars and I'm gonna smash them together to make a cool sci-fi car. Like, probably every game studio... At least the big ones, anyway, that you know of that does like hyper realistic graphics. Probably did photo bashing for it. Yeah, that's right. I'm leaking industry standard secrets. What you gonna do about it? I sucked at photo bashing, though. I really sucked at photo bashing. That's why I don't do it. Otherwise, I would probably do it way more. Of course, I still use, I still steal photos for references, but for the most part, I don't I don't do photo bashing. 
Not because I'm like against it or anything. Because some people are like really against Photo Bastion. They're like, that's so lazy. You can't just do that. That's probably, the, I don't know, um, the plagiarism or something. Nah, it's not. At least as long as you don't use copyright photos anyway. You mean something that makes images that couldn't possibly exist is a lie? My life is over. I'm so sorry, Dare. I'm so sorry I had to find out like this. Dare, I bet you your art from Bloodborne was photo bashed. I'm so sorry. Rip. RIP, my boy. And then we get the bottom of the tail. I can't go on. It's, it's a hard truth, man. It's the hard truth. My life is a lie. I cannot go on. I am gonna plagiarize you minus the whole plagiarism thing. Yeah, pretty much, honestly. Because, yeah, as long as you use non-copyright photos, it's not plagiarism because those are like public domain so like you can't you can't get like legally plagiarized for that because it's it's free to the public if it's free to the public it's fair game i don't know what you're talking about but i will <laughs> from software never how could you even say that me, me goes to like furiously look up a tutorial of like one of the from soft employees like photo bashing the beautiful victorian landscape There probably is, like, art of it out- or, like, video proof of it out there somewhere. How could you say that to the Nicki Minaj? And there we go, and then we get the next part of the tail. And I'll do this part by hand, because I like it better. So what, the dog drawn? The dog drawn, um, Nakara if she was in Spyro Reignited Trilogy. After, I will zoom out in just a second to show you. This is currently what we got so far. I'm probably gonna do a similar thing of what I did with Cult of the Lamb, where I, like, hand paint or hand draw the background. I gotta try and keep it all matching. Otherwise, it'll look weird. So, I'm gonna try and, like, copy-ish, like, as much of the shading that Spyro the Dragon does, so it looks consistent. Alright, hold on, I have to make my, my sparks, aka my, my nevermore sparks. Because, of course, you know, Nakara's got to have her dragonfly, and I can't think of any better dragonfly than Nevermore. Sporks. Ah, yes, my favorite video game character, Sporks. little grippers. Add in the little grippers. Thingy. Thingy. Add in another leg. Add in another leg. All these signs. All of these sound effects are very scientific. I s they, they, they're definitely good. Well, yeah, it's little feelers, it's little grippers. I'm gonna actually go through the body like this because I'm gonna make the wings like partially translucent. So I wanna make sure you can like see the body through it. Why is guacamole so good? I don't know because I've never eaten it. I wish I could tell you why, but, um, 
yeah, I, I am not, I am not the person to go to for that. I probably will try guacamole again one of these days. I just, growing up it always, yeah, growing up it always like grossed me out because it looked, it looked so nasty to me. I'm sure it's good. I just, for some reason, like the, the, the green goopiness of it always looks so gross. <gasps> oh my God. You're going to make me try guac. All right, all right, Nick. You know what? When it, when we eventually hang out, when we eventually hang out, yeah, we'll get to, we'll get to, we'll go to Chipotle. And yes, I know it's Chipotle, but I think it sounds funny. We'll go to Chipotle. We'll get our guac. It'll be a great time. N order nothing else from Chipotle except for guac. That's it. Oh, you hate guac? What? Why are you why are you ragging on me to eat guac then, huh? If you hate guac so much, why 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 am I the one who has to eat guac? Hmm? Hmm? I'm going on a guac. Yo, I'll be back, guys. I'm going on a guac. I'll see you later. Alright. Chipotle guacamole is so good. I will take your word for it there. Because I, I as we know, I don't know. Hold on, let me ask my sister. Maddie! Chipotle guac good. She says it's very good. Okay, Chipotle in general is just very good. I have to try it. Oh yeah, for those of you who did, who aren't in here, who just got in here, hi, my sister's with me. She's vibing on The Sims. That's why I'm a PNG. It's mostly avocados. That's why. Well, I know it's most. I know it's green from the avocados. Just like. It's like that brown- you know how like when- when guacamole gets aerated too bad and it gets that like brownish green look to it? That's what throws me off is when it gets like, you know, that way. Like I'm sure if it was just like a normal green, I probably wouldn't be thrown off as bad. Hi Nakara's sister legal name. <laughs> yes, you don't know my- you don't get to know my legal name. I am but an enigma. Well then, eat it fresh. Yeah, well, I will try that if I can get fresh guac stuff. Chipotle guac fresh and grin. Mm. Cause like, also back back when I said I didn't like guac, um, I had never eaten avocado before too. That's, pro that's also what threw me off, is like, I had never even eaten avocado in general, let alone in guacamole. So, I was like, ew, avocado is so gross, why did you eat that? And then I went to Boston. Which, I'll, I'll give you the story for that one, chap. This is, this is the story of how I, how I also, how I ate avocado for the first time, made friends with a rich girl, and also found out takoyaki is hot. In case nobody's ever heard this story before. Imagine not liking Quico Miguel Al Chirp Chirp. <laughs> there are a few more steps, I believe. Grab an avocado and grasp it hard in your feelers. That's that's it. That's uh, that's the recipe for avocados. Got uh, guacamole, guys. Straight from Dumpy himself. The dump master. But, um, okay. Wait, story time. Story time. So, I was like uh 14 when this happened 14 or 15 and like i was big nerd back in back in high school so i was looking <laughs> no proof so i was looking for um so i was i was going around looking for colleges to tour in my my local area well by local area i mean within like 300 miles <laughs> it was a lot of driving but I went around looking for colleges to tour that I thought would be a good fit for me. And that also meant sometimes I would do like these summer camps where I would like go to spend time at a college or at some sort of like career-esque thingy and learn shit. And that's how I spent like the majority of my summers until I got to college. So this one I went to, it was in Boston, like just outside of Boston at this little college. It was called like Olin something. And, uh, it, I went there for, like, technology and stuff because I'm a nerd. I like tech shit. Imagine not being 
within train distance to Boston, not going there anyways, because it is Boston. Listen, I I like Boston. Not to drive. I don't want to drive in Boston. Fuck that. But, like, I'd be down to, like, go hang out in Boston. But I'm biased, because I've been there quite a few times. Um. So, anyway, the camp is about a week long, and you learn, like, robotics and computer shit. Like, we learned how to build a drone. It was pretty cool. But, uh, there was an extra part of the camp if you paid, like, you know, extra shmoneys, right? So, uh, I signed up for the extra part of this camp, and the extra part is you get an extra three days after the main camp, and you and, like, a group of other students will go and tour colleges. Oop, that didn't inverse it. There we go, that's what I want. For cities, Boston is nice, but it still has a city, so very meh. You know what? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, cities, cities overall very meh because it's very stressful, very stressful for me. But like, I don't want to go there all the time. But like on the very rare occasions that I do get there, I usually have fun. So I'm at. So this part of the story takes place after the main camp, and we're doing that whole touring around Boston colleges thing. I'm talking MIT, Harvard, stuff like that. You know, they say I like is Dublin. Yeah, Dublin, good city. I highly recommend Dublin. And I, and I was only there for five days. Um, so we're we're walking around. I can't remember if this is like the first day, but over over the course of this camp too, I made friends with a girl, and she was like pretty pretty loaded. Like best way I can just think of like describing her is like daddy's credit card type of person. Like when you think of daddy's credit card girls, that's her. Um, so we're all, like, walking around with our group, you know, touring stuff. We just got out of touring Harvard, I believe. We were walking somewhere. And basically, our our counselor was like, I kids. <laughs> I kids. Yeah. No, she was actually really nice. She was, she was really nice. I'm going to call her, I'm going to call her Tiffany, because that's the, the best white girl name I can think of. So, me and Tiffany and, like, two dudes, we were all in this little little gang together walking around. And then, um, the counselor's like, hey, it's lunchtime. Fuck off and go find some lunch. So, I'm sitting here freaking out because this is my first time being in Boston alone. And I'm like, oh, God. How do I find food? <laughs> and, and Tiffany comes up to me. Boston gang violence. <laughs> and Tiffany comes up to me. She's like, no, 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 don't worry. I got you, girl. I got you, girl. I got you. And she, me, her, and, like, the two dudes... She, she leads us down somewhere, some street, and we end up at this, like, really nice Japanese restaurant. Like, at the time, it, it was probably, like, middle mid to upscale kind of place, but at the time, you know, being a little 14-year-old with no money, only the money my parents brought it, I felt very poor in that place. I was like, oh god, they're gonna know, they're gonna know I'm not rich, look at how I'm dressed, even though I'm dressed in, you know, very business-like clothing. But anyway, we get in there, sit down, and she's like, oh, sorry, I had to burp, excuse me. Good push, good push. She's like, guys, order whatever you want, don't even worry about it, it's all on me. And I'm like, oh, the, fl the floodgates to heaven have just opened up, like, hell yeah. So I'm looking at the menu, I don't know what half of this stuff is. Like, I know so some of it because I was a weeb and I watched a lot of anime. But my eyes found takoyaki. And I didn't know much about takoyaki. I didn't pay too much about it. I just heard about it in anime, right? Like, I don't think at this point I had seen an anime that actually had takoyaki visible. Or if I did, I just don't remember. But I'm like, oh, I know that. I've heard of that in, in the animes. I might try that. So we, I ordered that for an appetizer. We get some tempuras. Um... And I get something called Ruby Red for my, my sushi of choice. Which is where the avocado comes in later. But, um, you know, the takoyaki and all the other appetizers come out first. And remember, I... My, my dog is screeching. I don't know why he's going freaking out so bad. But, remember, I had never, like, really known anything about takoyaki before. So, I 
take the takoyaki. I didn't really feel it because, like, I, I can't remember if it, if it was one of those places where it, like, came on the sticks, right? You know, like, some shows where they, where they put it on the stick. But, um, I don't remember, I don't remember, like, picking it up with my hands. Avocado, avocado. And then I take the whole little, little takoyaki ball, right? And I shove it in my mouth. The whole thing. One bite. Now, uh, if you don't know, for those of you who don't know about takoyaki, this shit's hot. Like, very hot. Because you, you cook it, right? It's like a dough, you make like a, it's not quite a pancake batter, it's almost like a pancake batter. But you make a pancake batter, you have these like uh, spherical baking cooking trays usually do it over like I've seen it over like an open flame on like st street uh, street vendors and yeah you you uh, put part of the dough in there you let it par cook and then you fill the center with like no 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 not spicy hot like hot hot like fire hot not chili pepper hot yeah sweet sweet dough around cut octopus I think the dog the dog <laughs> yeah baked in pants so, I didn't, I didn't really know that. Um, <laughs> combustion engine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why my dog is freaking out. Somebody must have pulled up. Oh, my sister said no one's here. They're just being dogs. Um, so I am like trying to process this, but yeah. Um, this one had like cheese and stuff in it too, so it was extra molten, cause like mine was cheesy. Um, and I am trying so desperately not to cry. What the dog doing? The dog borking. He do a heckin' bork. But I'm just sitting there, this po my poor little me, like, tears rolling down her eyes, like, desperately trying to hold them in. As I sit there, tongue scalding on molten dough and cheese. Yeah. Because y'all know what happens when you eat, like, really hot cheese, right? That shit's like lava in your mouth. That's like the hottest thing on earth. And like, I'm I'm still trying to be nice, you know, and make pleasant conversation and whatever. Cause I don't want, cause like, I can't really, I can't really spit it out, right? I'm building my fire resistance, yes. Cause I just feel bad cause I'm like, I can't really spit it out because like, I'm at a nice restaurant, right? Like that'll look really, really rude if you, you know, shove something in your mouth and then a second later just go Bleh! onto the plate. Not very classy, not very classy. So I'm like, that's not an option, can't do that. So my only other option was to s try and swallow this. But of course, it's like molten lava in my mouth right now. I'm like, there ain't no way in hell I am swallowing that without, you know, burning my entire esophagus. So I'm sitting here, like, like nodding along, you know, mm-hmm, 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 this kind of stuff. Trying to <laughs> look like I'm engaged in the conversation. Meanwhile, I'm like letting out little puffs of steam from my mouth and like taking sips of water. Ah, Penny the Platypus. The trap is the conventions of fine dining. Now sit down. Yeah, that's it. That was literally it. The trap was fine dining. Curse you, social conventions! But yeah, <laughs> so for like a good five minutes, yeah, the, literally the cartoon smoke coming out of my ears, but like out of my mouth, because I'm I'm poofing it down like like a little <laughs> to, to not, you know, spit it all over the place, and it just oh it was horrendous. So um, yeah, guys, before you shove food in your mouth, make sure it's not hot. I'm sure, like, people, like, nobody pointed it out, which was nice, but I'm sure people absolutely noticed me, you know, sitting there in pain. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Pulls out the fake cigar. You eat pizza rolls. You eat pizza rolls out the air fryer? Like, fresh out the air, the air fry rissy. That's terrifying. You scare me. 
N Nick is simply built different. I am terrified. Straight out the fryer sea. Yeah, straight out the fryer sea, man. There we go. There we go. Oh no! Did my my chat disconnected? Why did it do that? Why you do this? Story time is so much fun. Mm, that's so out to fry your seat in the tumble seat. This bad is so bad. I love it. So true. It's so it's so delish. This I I'm so sorry, dear. I'm so sorry. I I saw the opportunity and I took it. Alright, let's see. Perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Show me that sweet fryacy baby away, yeah. <laughs> no, Nevi, no! What have I done? What have I taught him? This is not the way. I am a bad mother. Alright, let's see. Put some here, a little bit there down and then up and then like a dis Nah, I think that's all right the way it is. Oh yeah. All right, then we'll do it here. Shows like this, like that, like this. I'll do a small one here. Like that. Color in them thingies. Hey, where was the avocado? Oh yeah, the avocado! You're right, right. I didn't even talk about that. So yeah. So um other than me dying of uh heat stroke from my takoyaki, um, I got to have some sushi. Like, and this is like the really nice sushi. It's the Gucci stuff. And part of Ruby Red is it's like, um, how do I describe it? It's like a nigiri, right? So, uh, it actually doesn't, it doesn't have the little piece of seaweed wrapped around it. It's just the rice, um, the rice rectangle. And over the, over the top of it in like an alternating pattern, there was like the really nice deep red sushi, uh, tuna, sorry, tuna sushi and uh, avocado strips. Sidetracked by going kaboom. Yes, exactly. So yeah, that's where the avocado comes in. And like, at first when I had read the menu, I'm like, ew, avocado, am I even gonna like that? But, I'm, but then I saw the, su the tuna, I'm like, mm, but tuna. So I was like, I'll suck it up, whatever. I'll try it out. So I did, and it's like, yeah, it's just it's just straight up like avocado strips, like no it's not a sauce or anything, it's just sliced avocado. And it was yeah, it was so good. It was really fucking good. Like I really wish like when I had gone down to Boston, um, like a year or two ago for a convention, I wished I had known the name of that restaurant. Uh, if it's still open anyway, so I could have gotten more of that that sushi, because it was just it was just that good. Hey, it, yeah, it was on Rich Girls Check, so like I didn't have to worry. Slapped my children. Delish. Delicioso. I would love to have that sushi again, man. Problem is, like, where I am, I can't get, like, good tuna grade. Uh, good tuna grade. Mm, good sushi grade tuna. And, you know, your girl not looking exactly to die of, like, uh, parasites or f or mercury poisoning or whatever. I mean, I probably will with the amount of sushi I like to consume, but like, you know, not just yet. I would like to. I would like to be alive a little bit longer. Speaking of being alive a little bit longer, I went to the doctor today. <laughs> and before you, before you're like, whoa, that segue turned dark. Don't worry, I'm fine. Just go to Boston. Can't be that far unless it is. Uh, listen, Boston is like a six hour journey for me. It's a little far. Not just one I can casually take. It's a little bit of a hassle. 
Well, it's like six to eight hours. I won't get into the specifics, but it's a it's a hassle. But uh, speaking of being alive a little longer, I went to the doctor today. Yes, I am fine. As far as I know, I am not dying yet. So don't freak out. Uh, but I went in to get checked out. And, like, I get blood work done next week. Eww. Man, oh man. Oh boy. Oh geez. Speaking of dying. Just that. I'm dead, guys. That's it. I'm gone. Hold on. Let me, let me look up Spyro really quick. I'm gonna... Let me turn on my references. Here. Well, it's it. I'll turn on the references. <gasps> references is not up right now. That's disgusting. <gasps> there we go. I fixed it. Hold on. I want to look up Spyro the dragon. Because I want to see if his horns are the same as his, like, head spikes. It appears so. So, you know what? That's what I'm doing with the car's horns. Don't worry. Death will come eventually. It does for us all. Mm, what a comforting thought. Oh no, the lo-fi is in my in the corner of my screen. Be gone, thought. Be gone, demons. Demons. Spire the Dragon, like from Spire the Dragon? Yeah, Spire the Dragon from Spyro the Dragon. Cause I was curious to see how like his color scheme looks. Are you letting the boy out? Okay. My sister's letting her dog out. Charleston, not in here. It's okay. You'd, it'd be like that. He's fine. Holy shit, that's whack. It is pretty whack, bro. Crazy whack. Alright, uh, back to the ref sheet so I can steal. Tell me! <gasps> dog. Dog. Talvi is trying to steal plate. Yeah, in place of Nakara's usual like symbol that's on her forehead, I'm just doing these head crests. So Nakara will not have her usual little W on her forehead. Does he dance the Charleston? No, but I wish he did. I just like to call him Charleston. Or Charles. My sister gets annoyed at it. She's like, when it, when I first started doing it, she's like, don't call him that. That's not his name. And I'm like, hmm, Charleston. You know what? I thought I would like the horns like that. I don't. I want to keep the, the back spikes and stuff the same, but I think maybe I'll make the horns the same color as her underbelly. I shall see. I'm not sure which I want to do yet. We'll figure it out in a second. Charlie, Charles Charlie the Charlatan. Yes, that is him. The Charlatan or the Charlatan? I don't know why, but Charlatan made me think of... Um, you guys know about the new Pinocchio movie that just came out, right? The the remake that Dis you know Disney's remake binge kick that they're on. Gotta pick a middle name. Full names. I like to call my cats Edith Rush and Elliot Rush when they do bad. As as you should. When they are being bad little little kitties. You gotta break out the full name. It's just practice. But I haven't I haven't watched it yet before I before I get into this. I haven't watched it yet. But I'm curious because not Yasified Pinocchio? No, not Yasified Pinocchio. Not the father. When can I go out and see the world? Sadly, not that one. I'm just curious because, like, I like I haven't seen it, right? But, like, my feed, because I watch a lot of, like, I watch some, like, movie critics and stuff on my feed or, like, sh uh, animation critics. Mostly Saber Spark. I love Saber Spark. Shout out to Saber Spark. Um, and... Like, a couple of the ones that have been showing up on my feet are, like, you know... I mean, father, when will I be a... When will I be real, father? Yes. Yasified Pinocchio, we love him. He's an icon. But, um, you know, as as is with um these Disney remakes, you know, people are hating on them. I'm not surprised. But, like, I just... I saw one... 
with like it, ha it showed a picture of like the screenshot was of Honest John. If you guys remember Honest John, he's the fox man that tricks Pinocchio into like joining Stromboli and going to Pleasure Isle. Um, I s he was on the thumbnail of this video, and it's it was something along the lines of like the new Pinocchio remake misses the point entirely, and I'm like sitting there like misses you know trying to trying to piece together in my mind what this like thumbnail means because I didn't actually get to click on it because it was stream time but I'm just like what what do you mean it misses the point entirely like what what exactly about this new Pinocchio misses the point what was the point of the original Pinocchio like because wasn't the original like somebody somebody like jump in here if you if you if this isn't sound right but like wasn't the original point of Pinocchio to try and teach Pinocchio to be a good little boy or something you know because they're like you know prove your bravery honesty or whatever and like and someday you'll be a real boy i think that was i think that's kind of how it went like that isn't it isn't it just to teach kids to like be honest and kind and and brave and whatever because i can't remember what does the blue fairy say hold on blue fairy pinocchio quote because she she basically just is just teaching him how to be a good uh, be a good boy always let your conscience be your guide prove yourself brave truthful and unselfish and someday you will be a real boy yeah it's basically just like teaching to me it sounds like it's just teaching kids to just you know be good kids i mean you know based on what the blue fairy says it's like targeted more at little boys than girls but i mean the truth the same kind of like Principles can be applied to anybody regardless of gender. But I'm just like, what do you how do you how does one miss the point of Pinocchio? Cause like, yeah, he does that. He like he he goes throughout the movie being a dumb little kid, not thinking. Which I mean makes sense. He's you know, he's built to be a child. That's what his character is designed to be. But like, you know. What's the lore? Where's my Pin guys? Where's my Pinocchio lore? Somebody have to see the lore to me. I'm gonna like get rid of that one. I'm gonna maybe build out this one a little more. There we go. I think it looks a little better. That's better. Isn't the point like don't lie on <laughs> shit or you'll be trafficked? Kinda, yeah. Well, it's also like to be like honest too, because like yeah, don't lie, honesty, because because the whole scene of like when he's in the cart and he's trying to get help from the blue fairy and he's just like, yeah, we were attacked by like you know, ten foot tall men who like who beat me up and stole my money. I expect Limit Breakers to uncover Pinocchio Deepest Lore in his next random Dark Souls mechanics video. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go back to looking at Spyro really quick. Because I need to see. I want to see what his tail looks like. Because did they add, like, little spiky little, little scales to his tail? So you know, like, the back of his head. Uh, not. At least not in the art. Unless it's in his model. Can I see his model? Show me your model. Let me see your model, Spyro. Give me that model. He's got a little at the base of his tail. I, I could, like, work that in, maybe. I don't know. I also want to make hit her, ch her floofy right there. No, I'm going to try I'm gonna try a different color for the horns. Not everyone knows this, but Pinocchio is actually the secret boss in Dark Souls 2. No. You know what? That's not looking right either. Hold on. I need to figure out this is good because this is gonna bug me if I don't figure this out. What is a good horn color? Let me look at the Spyro Dragons again. You have to lie to every NPC to unlock Pinocchio, Master of Lies. That would be fucking great. Uh, dragons. Like, let me take a look at some of them and their horns. Cause like a lot of them like have very consistent color palettes. Like 
not too many colors to make it obnoxious, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to add too many colors to her. Because her color palette's already good as it is. I'm just worried that by adding too many... You know what? Actually, you know I'm going to do this? I'm changing, I'm changing my ID for the tail. The tail is just going to be all orange. Instead of... Because like most of her tail is brown anyway, so I'll just make the poof orange. I think that'll look a little better, personally. Yeah, yeah. I like that better. I like that better. As for the horns, though, I might just I might just give her black horns to match her her claws. Art Archdeacon Trickster Pinocchio. You don't want to be a Sparkle Dog? Oh my God, Sparkle Dogs. No, I really don't. I'll be real, like, even though, like, I've been in the furry community a while, I really don't like sparkle dogs. I am a person, pers when it comes to designing characters, I very much pref prefer more, like, like, natural-esque color palettes. That's not to say, like, you, like, your color palette can only have, you know, muted browns and greens and whatever, um... But I just, like, prefer color palettes that, you know, could potentially look like they're on. But Sparkle Dog's good in a bad way. Sparkle Dogs can be good in a bad way. Not all Sparkle Dogs are bad. I will, like... Like, some Sparkle Dogs I really do like the designs of. But I see too many that are just, like, pure, like, random colors. I don't like random colors. Like, if you have a color palette that is consistent, that matches, then I'm probably not going to be mad. It's a matter of, like, making sure your color palette works together for me. If all the colors look like they belong in the same palette together, that's fine. That's, that's good. I'm not going to be mad at you. But if I'm like, if my eyes are hurting at the pure neon chaos and there's no consistency to the colors, then I'm going to be a little mad. That That's what that's what really grinds my gears. I'm going to fix this little corner right here. Looks that little annoying all day. See, I'm beyond cringe culture. I want to embrace the cringe and allow it to bring me joy. You know what? If it brings you joy... You know, go for it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shit on somebody if they're like, if they're like, hey, I like sparkle dogs. I'm not gonna go be them be like, you like sparkle dogs, eh? Cause like, you know, people, you can like what you want, man. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be mad at you if you're like, if you come to me and you're like, you're like Nakara. I like sparkle dogs. What really salts? Yeah. What really salts my wounds, guys? <laughs> Really rustles with my jimmies. Ay, ay, ay. Not to rustle my jimmies. What really, what really rustles my jimmies? I hate that so much. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Ah. No, don't do the thing. Okay, good. It's not doing the thing. I got worried. Perfect. Okay, good, good. We're almost done with the flats, at least for Nakara. Then we need to move on to the tiny Nebby. This is going in my cringe compilation. Alright, take that. Take her eye color. Add it to the... Whoa! Okay, hold up. Gotta fix the pen. Gotta fix the pen like that. Guys, this is so cringe. You're going in my cringe compilation. I'll do this. All right, and then how does Spyro's mouth look? Show me your mouth, Spyro. Give me, give me them, give me that tongue. Show me that tongue. I oh, what that tongue do? do Hold up. Hold up, I'm looking at his model right now. Is the inside of his mouth mouth purple? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm looking at this in a bigger tab right now. I gotta Oh my fucking god, it is. Guys, look. Look at that. You can't tell me. 
that that's not purple in there. The inside of Spyro's mouth is just a darker purple. What the fuck? Oh, we're going to YouTube for this shit now. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Sp Sp we gotta go. We gotta go to YouTube for this shit, man. I am, you know, I'm a, I'm in the Spyro lore. S Spyro the Dragon Spyro clips. Our Spyro. Uh. Here we go. I'll cut scenes. There we go. I need to find ones where he talks, which is like half of them. Show me. Okay, there's mm, Nestor. Uh, his mouth is too low, I can't see. Yeah, no, the inside of his mouth is just purple. That's just purple. No, we're not doing that. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not that cringe. Nakara will have normal mouth color insides. I think that's called gum disease. Yeah, it kind of do look like gum disease, actually. S some of the dragons, man. Like, I love, I love the dragon designs, but sometimes when they talk, it's really not good. Like, there's a couple of dragons that I've seen when they talk, like... Something about like the way they rig their gums and their lips in the in the cutscenes is really weird. Yeah, yeah. Do you see it, Dare? Please tell me. Please tell me you see it. I think that worked out beautifully, actually. All right, Nakara's colors have been laid down. Now I need to go grab a picture of Nevi. I'll just do a closed picture. It's not like I'm gonna need it too much anyway. Just need to make sure we get the, the right color palette for the the little bug. I will do this one right here. This looks like the best one. I'm actually going to change how I do the wings here. So I'm going to erase all of this, actually. The ring sh shall be like a transparent gray. That I'll put over everything else. Okay. And I'll take this leg color, put it on his arms here. Uh oh. I hear ch I hear my sister talking to her dog down there. Looks like uh, Charlie did it bad. All right, get the green eyes here. My dog is intently breathing on my leg. Hello, dog. But let me see here. We'll just we'll do the same like light gray as his feet for his wings. And we'll take this. We'll do it all. I'm gonna make the background white instead right now, so just so I can like really see the color change. I don't normally like to have a white background, but for now it matters so I can actually see the gray of the wings. Because otherwise I won't be able to see it at all. I should have made like the wings on a separate uh, thing. I'll, I'll copy in that shit later, it's fine. Go. You know, maybe I'll have some. Sp oh, goodbye, goodbye, Dumpy. We'll see you later. Put a little dot on him. 
There we go. Perfect. And then we combine that and we can get rid of that. Get rid of this white background here because I hate white backgrounds. Perfect. All right. Let's see here. Now, as for the scene, I want um, artisan homeworld concept art. I want to look at the concept art especially here. Of the mainly the hub world, not like the actual stone land. I'm thinking, well, maybe I'll look at stone hills. Stone hill. Artisan stone hill. Or let me look up. I think Sao Shin did Spyro. I love Sao Shin's work. If you guys ever have, if you have never heard of Sao Shin, please go look at Sao Shin's work. It's good. Sao Shin do really good. Like this is the latest one. It's so fuzzy. It's so cute. I love it. I hope one day I can like try and recreate Nakara in a style like this. But, like, I'm kind of thinking, like, something like this. Maybe with the mountains in the background, like, the grass. That's what kind of what I'm kind of going for with, with this idea. Because, of course, like, you know, Stone Hill is, like, you can't get more, you can't get more Spyro than Stone Hill. Like, the first, like, other than the artist in Homeworld itself, like, Stone Hill is, like, the first world you really go to, you know? So I need to like, I want to get some more Spyro Stone Hill. Really see what the grass looks like. Or actually I could just probably just do Spyro the Dragon actually. Which will give me some good concept art with him in it. Spyro, Spyro the Dragon. Alright. Hang on just a second guys. I'm going to shut the door really quick just because her dog is freaking out. It's kind of distracting me. No tiny Nakara this time. All right, there we go. That should go. That should be good. Uh, boom, 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 boom. give me some art. Give me a screenshot of Spyro not in the sunset. <laughs> I would like some contact art. Okay, this is. What is that? Is that? That's world two. That's not gonna help me. Cause I want world one. Or spy, spy, Spyro one. Could could do this one with a Nestor. Mm, Nestor. Oh no! Why is he? Ha! Huh? Do this again, but with another layer behind it. I'm gonna add a color on top of it. I'm gonna look at the more Spyro Stone Hill art. Is that the old one? Yeah, that's the old one. I want like this one. And the section art because what should be happening when it comes to art anyway is like color theory is like the more stuff goes to the background the bluer it gets right at least out in the open sometimes sometimes like even as an artist you gotta look it up <sighs> this is just giving me color rules man I just want like Objects fading into background. See, like, kind of see with like a lot of like mountain ranges. Actually, let me look. Let me just like look at up like an actual mountain range. So if you notice here, 
like the further things get back, the closer it gets to the sky color. That's color theory, baby. All right, Spire Stone Hill. So we'll worry about the color of that color in a second. We gotta get the actual like sky. Needs a little deeper blue to it. A little more white and then boom. I'm gonna take this color, we'll f overlay it over this. Do it like an, not an overlay, but like a color. Do like 50%. Turn that up. And then I'm not worried too much about the details because this is going to be like Gaussian blurred into the background a little bit. So it's it'll be fine. But like this is what we're looking for here. And as things get into the foreground, they get like more saturated. But I don't want it to be too green here. So I'm going to go look up my, my Pinterest here. Don't look at my Pinterest. It's fine. I mean, don't look at it, but do look at it. Because it's, it's good art. It's good references. If it'll load. That's the, that's the key. When my Pinterest loads. Ow, my ear. I still have a cut in my ear. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Can't scratch my ear. At least not the normal way I scratch my ear. It is horrendous. Un momento, I'm sorry about my headphones creaking on you. I have to adjust my headphones every now and then because it just. It's no good. Yeah, because like, I could do like this version, but like he. He has like his own brushes that he uses. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at Sao Shins again, like like get a get a good eye full of that art there. And if I don't respond to your messages, I'm sorry. Take a little bit of that sky color there. We're gonna go to the my actual, I actually have Saoshin's uh, brush palettes here, which I don't think you can see as I scroll through right now, but um, yeah, just, just know I have that. I'm also going to turn Nakara off for this so I can really draw onto the, the scene here. Let's take a look, see how that looks compared to her. 
and I'll make sure to like overlay her with like the world light too. How could you? I thought what we had was special. I'm sorry, man. It's just the way cookie crumbles. have to take like a deep blue color I'm gonna take it over this and I want to see I want I want to look up there's a specific art of Spyro I see of him like running Spyro reignited trilogy let me look that up of, of him running over some grass that gives me like a really good shadow not that one. It's kind of. It's kind of. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's not grass, but it's like. The claws look so cute. Oh, thank you! I'm gonna erase this when I... When I do this too, once I finish this. Because I'm gonna erase the bottom so it looks like it's actually in the grass. Oh, it's Noofy! Hi, Noofy! So I think, I think I can turn this brush that I'm currently using into an eraser. Yeah. scoot it over and then like skew it a little bit it's not bad I like that your stream was behind ah uh, you're drawing each individual piece of you're not I'm not drawing each individual piece of grass fake artist true I am I am now a fake artist I, I, I am committing a farce for you. Alright, time to do the back. Hold on, let me also... Actually, let me get rid of the grass that I painted first. sunlight grass in there. If fresh food should be good now? Awesome, awesome. Sorry if I'm a little a little quiet right now. I'm just trying to get the grass to look, you know, like the like grass. This back one is not going to matter as much as the other one does. Just because it's so much further in the back that it'll have a lot more Gaussian blur to it than the one in the front.
some some scenes where like the grass is like really hitting the light. You don't worry about it. I I So because she's, you know, using uh, outdoor colors, I'm gonna do her coloring like that. Not dry media, I want general brushes. I'm gonna use the soft round for most of it. It's tend to what I go to to make like hard, but like hard, but soft shadows. Kind of like what Spyro has going for it. Because it's like, it has a sort of shell-shaded appearance, but it's not quite. I gotta remember, because the way the light is coming, it's almost like high noon, but not quite. Hey, it's high noon. Color comes from right here. It's okay if not all of it makes total sense. And I'll like really crack down on the shading once I get to the next phase. So I have an idea of kind of like what I'm going for. It's not exact, but. Not an exact science, but we'll figure it out. You know what I mean? Eyebrows like that. Kind of like this. A little bit for the cheek here. Get 
this. Over like that. I'm just making noises like I'm just this, this is what, how I do this is how I roll when it comes to my art Too important anyway. Alright, hold on. Go like this. Do that down. No, no, no. Uh, let's see, I'll do it like this. go pretty good pretty good all right now we multiply it to get us that shadow color to about 50 percent and then this is where we can start really getting to some like ambient occlusion here so we keep the same color, but this time I'm gonna crank it. We're gonna really do some like harder shadows now. Like the neck. A lot of the body here is gonna be shadowed. Just because it's the body. Same with like the, the stomach here. Cause I gotta get that ambient occlusion in for where like all the body parts like connect to each other, you know? Or not connect, but like are really like close together, like places that need really hard shadows. shadow down here same with like 
right here, actually. Uh, stomach. I think is a really good one. Definitely the toes right here. A little bit more like that. Edge of the teeth here. Get rid of that. There we go. This side a little bit. Another one right in here. I also totally have not done uh, never, never sparks, never more sparks. Gotta do that too. I think that's pretty good. Same thing, multiply. Should go to 50. And in certain spots, this is where we will soften the shadows a little bit. So in some places, like the shadows don't need to be as intense and sharp. Like right around here, a little bit on the torso. soften around the eyes here. It's looking so good, man. I gotta love how this is turning out. bit. Alright. I should also do uh, Sparks Dragonfly before I get too far ahead of myself here. Or Nevermore Dragonfly.
same thing here. High intensity shadows. to be Sky color, create a clipping mask. I'm gonna do the general highlights. Basically, anything above. A lot of the faces, a lot of this is gonna have general sky highlights. Even in places that like get some shadow to them like it's still gonna have some highlight to it color theory is great people Probably honestly, I could even just turn down the opacity on this. Instead of doing like an overlay, just. Let's see. Nah, I think I like doing just a lower opacity better. helps to uh, connect it in. Do some highlights on specific spots. Or actually, change my mind, I'm gonna do this instead. I'm gonna take that color, put it back. here. There we go. You sleepy from the Chipotle, too much avocado happens. Happens to the best of us, King.
Nice. Better, better, better. And then let me take some yellow highlights here. Sun. I like those extra shiny bits. Like the horns and such. And don't worry, I will add some, some more sun to her. Twitter. I have to I have to look later. <sighs> Same thing with her. Oh no. Take it back. With her tum tum. time at least for the teeth Tingo's scra, pap pap ka 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 skidiki pap pap, and a poo poo ka doom skia, you do koo koo doom doom poom poom, you done now. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you, Nevermore, for that beautiful, that beautiful uh, song you just gave us. The Tingo scra, skidiki pap pa. Man, I. I used to I used to sing that all the time just to piss people off. Cause I thought it was hilarious. Tingo skara, skinny heat pop pop, na pum 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 Two plus two minus two plus two equals four minus one equals three. Quick maths. With dead man's on the block. Smoke trees.
Man's not hot. Man's never hot. She said, babe, take off your jacket. I told her, babe, man's not hot. I actually did that at Karaoke World once on VR chat. It was pretty funny. Thank you for reminding me that a gem of a song exists. Hello. More highlights. So I'm just gonna go downstairs. Oof, man, I'm hungry now. I gotta admit, like, I'm loving how this is turning out, guys. I don't, like, I don't know if this is, like, very, like, if this seems almost, um, what's the word, like, self-indulgent or whatever, but, like, sometimes I just, I see how my art's turned out, I'm like, man. That is turning out so good. And I feel a little bad because I'm like, oh man, I'm like, you know, I'm I'm bragging, like I'm being self-indulgent. I'm like letting the my my hours of practice get to my head, but at the same time it's like, man, I put in so much effort to be able to do art like this and like I don't care like if it's bad manners or whatever. I just want like to just be like, yeah man, I, I did good. I don't care. I don't care if it's a little, little self-indulgent, a little, little braggy to be like, man, I this art, this this good art right here. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say for once, like, dang, dang, bro, my art be looking kind of good right now. Try to try to do like positive affirmation kind of thing, you know, where it's like, because like I don't know if any of you have like depression or anxiety, like I do. In case you, you don't know, I don't put in my tags, but I have them. Um, I have both depression and anxiety, and like sometimes there's you just gotta like let yourself be like, yeah, man, I'm I'm doing a good thing for once. Like this this thing arguably is a good thing. Look at this thing. Like I did this, and I can be proud of that fact. You know, it's like the TikTok of like forgive me while I give myself an ounce of serotonin <laughs> that's, that's how I feel whenever I like actually say say my art is good to myself it's like yeah, let me ex please excuse me while I give myself an ounce of serotonin A small ounce of serotonin. There we go. Sorry if I'm like, I'm so quiet right now. I'm just, I'm kind of in the zone. Like, you ever just get in the zone? Like, where where you're, if you're ever drawing something, like, it doesn't even have to be drawing, like, writing, like, you know, cleaning, whatever it be, may be. You just get, like, into this zone where, like, nothing else exists but you and whatever the task at hand is. Because I get like that sometimes. Okay, so what right now?
shall turn this all to overlay. I turn that down to like 50%. Nah. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I like that. I actually almost want to turn down like her. Well, I can't do it now. It's too late, but. And then I'll take this. I'll kind of give it all like a slight golden brown like or golden yellow like overtone to really like help set it set in the mood that it's like this is this is sunny happy time that's nah, too bright heck maybe I'll even make it more saturated nah it's too much <laughs> oh, the other thing I gotta do is I gotta give her some grass undertones too, cause like, especially around the, the bottom of her body. It's not gonna be very like intensive, but like, it's gotta be there, cause that's just how it is. Like right now it looks really intense, don't worry, it's not gonna be this intense when I'm done. you're like oh my god it's so green like what are you doing it's gonna be like maybe 10 percent yeah like 10 percent and i'll actually i'll take this whole yellow that i have and i'm gonna cover it up for like the entire the entire thing uh let me see layer image adjustments hue saturation I really want those like oranges to pop though Let me try it again. Adjustments, hue saturation. Blend it just a tad. Yes. I think it's a little better. I want it to be a little lighter. Positive affirmation, good. Affirm yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Dare. I don't have to feel like I am the silly the, the silly uh, boo-boo for being like, yeah, sometimes I, I do good. Sometimes I do good. Another 10%. Add that overlay. Same thing here. Pretty quickly masked. 10%. Add the overlay. And the sky. We haven't even done the sky yet. I'll even do this. Almost a near white. And then we'll do this. We'll go right here. Nice. Take all of that. Do like 
right here. Actually, like, right here. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna go back a little bit. I do want to. I want that. No, do the do the do the liner thing again, though. Uh, let me see here. Some of this liner needs to be fixed. Some of this line are very messy. This color. Not translate good. A lot of it transferred okay. But some of it not so much. Which is why we, we fix it up. Most of it's at a point where you're not gonna really notice it either. Hello, Shao! Oh, my music! My music, it stopped. Why music stop? not load. Okay, hold on, wait. There we go. Oh, you were returned! Hello, welcome back! Yes, it is mostly, yeah, it's pretty much a completed Dragon Goral. Oh no, I did it on the wrong layer. Oopsies. Oopsie poopsie. So I want to do it like this. Ah! 
and then I shall draw like first of all we gotta do this uh, select filter blur Gaussian blur too much and then we'll take my blur tool and just blur out the edge a little bit here like these you're going to say hi to Uncle Nylon? Okay, have fun with that. I see you later. Alright, and then I'm just gonna draw like really basic castle in the background. Right, let me go to Stone Hill first. I'll draw so you can see like piece a piece of Stone Hill like peeking up over. like a teal color. I'm really not drawing this too well at all because this is going to be really Gaussian blurred. Wait, I can't tell. Uh, I wish I could see the top of the castle here. Okay, and that has some red flag. This can this can be erased with like a hard eraser. Just try and make sure like the, the shapes and the colors are good. That's pretty much all you need at this point for this one. And then we shall do very basic uh, dark blue. Uh, so it'll be like, like this. Move the whole thing down a little bit. Turn this to 50% multiply. What? Didn't enter right. a really heavy blue uh, blue tinge to it. And then filter blur, Gaussian blur. this over a little bit so you can kind of see it. 
Actually, maybe I'll make the blur a little less. At least you can tell it's a building. And then above it, we'll need some clouds. We're nearly done. All right, the Sasha Mega Pack is the one I want. Canopy, force fog. Small clouds first. I think actually right here I will grab the grass brush Wait, shoot. Can't draw it. Right there. Used to be like right here. And then I'll do like hard grass blades here. Nah, actually. I should do some flowers. Filter, and then blur, Gaussian blur. I 
I think we have achieved it. Oh wait, the only thing I want to try and do is um, to like take copy because I would like to try and do this. Ah, that's not blurring. Paste. Scale. Select blur. And then paste it again. This time we'll flip it vertically. Put it right here. Scale it like real. No, come on. I want this. Blur. And then we'll do the same thing for this side. Copy, paste. Blur. I'll make sure to like paste it again, flip vertical. Filter, blur. And then we're gonna do a new thing. We're actually gonna take the smudge tool. Combine them all. Nah, that don't work. No. Nah, how do you how do you do this? How do I want to do this? I could take like this. Go here, go to dry media. take a little soft round kind of help even it out a little bit let's make it like 75 percent and then I'll add a little bit of sparkle Nevermore. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. There's a sparkle in here somewhere. Dots cluster, sparks trail.
little bit. Okay, clipping layer. Do it again. General soft round. Oh, I totally just noticed. I haven't been looking at chat. Why he got the stank cloud? It's because he's got um his his main color is green. So I want his magical sparkles to be green. I should make him like way brighter though. I'll do like, where's the stars? I have a star effect somewhere too. Little stinky man. I shouldn't be this big. What's the layer I'm trying to do here? It's color dodge. You witch, you scoundrel. How dare you make me a stinky little man? <laughs> Had to be done, had to be done. We all know you're a stinky little man, Nevi. You can admit it, it's fine. We all know. No shame. Bad, not bad. I should add some like sparkles though, like I might have to add some like white spots in it. Just to really like or like nearly white spots. So we can go all the way down single stars. Why is it? Oh, it's the eraser. Careful, nice. SpongeBob. 
Careful SpongeBob. <laughs> Careful SpongeBob. Careful SpongeBob. Careful SpongeBob. Careful SpongeBob. Careful SpongeBob. God. That's so good. I shall sign right on her wing. Nice and front and center. I think this is perfect and <laughs> I just oh it just oh look at it ah oh, look at it <sighs> it's so good I might add a little bit of extra like dark blue to the outside though just to like draw the attention to the center of the screen doing my color theory thing Axis. We'll do it like that. Yeah, I know. Shut up. Yes, I know. God damn it. I hate when it does that. Whoa, too big, too big. Using a branding iron of your name on the dragon's wing, yeah, pretty much. I mean, hey, if it's effective. Does, the, does this hurt the dragon? This reminds me of Spyro. Yo, it does? Why does it remind you of Spyro? Nice. I think I think we've done it. The slightest, the slightest little bit. Spire the Dragon from the hit video game franchise, Spire the Dragon? Yo! Who would have seen that coming? Oh my god, Dare. I just saw your your thing you sent me. Why? Dare, why would you send that to me? I am in Spain without the S. Oh my god. Curly lashes. Guys, fucking... I just... Uh. Look at this. Look at that. What the fuck is that? Dare, what the fuck is that? What is that there? Why would you assault my eyes with this abomination? Why? I am in I am in so much pain there. How could you do this to me? Alright. Alright. 
we're gonna end a little early because the the art is completed. So we shall I shall export this and get it sent up to the tweetors. Reminds me of the horse with curly hair? The horse with curly hair. I don't know that one. What is it? Thank you, thank you for this. I'll, I'll watch this. I'll watch this in a little in a second here, uh, uh Jack. But 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 uh, but for now, yes, I am in a pan. Mm, mood. For now, that is going to be it for today. We're ending a little bit early. I am also the big hungry, so this is perfect. I am I am very much uh, needing of the food. And today we shall out. And thank you. Oh, Alpha, hi! Uh, welcome in. Oh, the stream's ending. G I'm gonna go eat. Don't worry about it. For now, um, today we are going to, um, uh, I'm sending you to, uh, you know what? Chibi Shao went to go see Mylon. Fuck it. Y'all are going to see Mylon too. Alpha, ha oh, has been here? Oh, I was, I was stupid. I was stupid. I was too busy paying attention to the art. I'm so sorry, Alpha. I got in the zone, man. Don't, don't, don't hate me. But, um, uh, what is it? Mylon, Mylon's playing Dark Souls 2. So, go call him Stinky. Because he's stinky. And I will be seeing you guys tomorrow to continue Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Might even use this art as the thumbnail for when I post the link. I'm so sorry, Alpha. I'll make it up to you, I promise. But everybody, have a good night. I need to go eat food. Bye-bye.